Well, hello there, guys. It's been a while since we've done some Ultimate General Civil War, and I want to try a battle that's going to be a bit of a challenge, so, so we're going to actually try the Battle of Antietam as the Confederacy. Obviously, as many of you know, the Battle of Antietam was won by the Union. We're going to be taking the center, so basically medium uh, difficulty, and see how we do here in the fight. I think it's fair since I've been away from the game for a while, and let's go ahead and get started, my friends. Okay, so of course, uh, this is the town of Sharpsburg, and the nearby area offers defensive ground, which we can use against General George McClellan. That's going to be, of course, the Union general uh, leading the uh, Federals in this particular battle, and we're definitely going to have to put up a lot of firepower to stop his army. He's got quite a lot of men under his command, and as you guys know, this was a Union victory, despite there being significant amounts of casualties on both sides. Um, I think next to Gettysburg, this is the second bloodiest battle of the war, and uh, we we're soon going to see why. So, let's go ahead. Our line's going to extend eastwards over here. And basically, the Sunken Road is one area we're going to have to hold. And if you look up history of the Sunken Road, that's probably one of the pivotal points of the battle itself. A lot of men fell there. There's even some photographs. And remember, during the, the American Civil War, ph photography was just sort of um, beginning, essentially. Um, there's photos of dead men in that Sunken Road area. So the Union is approaching from the north, and we have to hold our defensive lines in the woods. Now, for those of you that have watched my Ultimate General Civil War videos in the past, you know that we do a great job at using cover um, to basically increase our chances of victory. So right now our job is to not allow the enemy to get to Dunker Church, and we're getting reinforcements in about two hours, guys. So let's hope that this goes well and that we can actually hold this area. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some artillery up on Nicodemus Hill. But you know what? Despite the fact that the game is suggesting we do this, I've done it before, and it's rare to actually find Nicodemus Hill to be a good area to have Artie. In fact, I find the Artie much more useful over here. So let's send one of our artillery pieces here, and one of them is already here um, at Dunker's Church. So at this point, we're just waiting for the enemy to arrive, guys. Uh, I actually like these, uh, si these setups, but I'm going to take Pennon. Or Penn. Why did I say Pennon? I was thinking of Perrin, who's another another general. And I'm going to put Stonewall's Brigade right here. It's only 281 men, but I think these guys are going to be really great shots. And we're going to set them up behind these fences here at the cornfield, which should give them a pretty good vantage point of the arriving enemy. As you can see, we also have a nice view here uh, from our cavalry. I'm wondering if we could get a sh quick shot off and then retreat. Or uh, not retreat, but of course fall back. Come on, boys. What weapons are you using, boys? Smith carbines. So carbine pretty much be fired quickly here. I don't want to charge. I just want to shoot. Yeah! And that's the Iron Brigade. Now Wade Hampton's going to wade in here. Nice. We're also hitting them with some of our arty. And that is coming from Malvern Hill. So now that they've got a volley, I'll move back. Just wanted to go ahead and get a shot off. And of course... And maybe we should bring up some more artillery to Malvern Hill. I don't remember this area being so useful last time, but what the heck. Uh, let's grab Stewart as well. I'm going to move him over here. We don't have any reason to have men there. And we should move some men over here too. Look at that. They've already got skirmishers in place. That was quick. I'm going to have to move my guys slightly out of cover to, to get over here, but I think it's worth it. Get them skirmishers, boys. Give them hell, Walker. Oh, oh, oh. Got some skirmishers running away. Get them. Got that artillery. See, that's why that artillery here is pretty useful. And as soon as I get these skirmishers to run, I'm going to put Walker in a defensive position over here. In fact, I might bring Douglas up. Oh, boy. All right, we're going to stop that. We're going to get... Um, Stonewall, Stonewall's Brigade just over here because now we've got the entire Union infantry arriving, but I do want to get Walker as quickly as he can go into this position. So let's go ahead and get him behind the cornfield here so he can start offering some fire to the enemy, and we'll be firing from here. So we're firing from two directions. That's some nice flanking fire, essentially. I want these guys to run, though, man. They've got to get, in, they've got to get into a position. Good shot, son. And there we go. We've routed Anderson. Man, I missed this game. I can't believe we haven't played this in a while. It's such a fun title. Uh, and actually, I'm going to put Penn right here. 
where Stewart he's over here and we got Jubilee early my favorite Confederate general he's on the way guys I'm gonna put Jubilee early right over here come on boys I could try to get Douglas over here into the cornfield but this is gonna be risky guys and these cornfields are not always the best position they're great defensively but at the same time you know if the enemy flanks us you know we are easily defeated uh, at these cornfield areas so there we go they're actually charging into Douglas with bayonets I hope Walker can support Douglas here watch that friendly fire though boys Douglas seems to be doing a good job uh, sending him back oh my goodness but we got to get Penn back look at that or at least Stonewall Stonewall's getting some good shots on Iron Brigade two excellent brigades by the way but it's not enough to send him fleeing so I'm actually going to move Stark up I usually know better than to move out of cover like this, but I'm definitely going against my own best judgment, and uh, I'm actually going to charge Monroe here, the enemy artillery. We can actually slow things down just so that I can make some decisions here quickly. Man, there's a lot going on. I love seeing those slow firing muskets too. The slow motion thing for me is really cool. I'm easily impressed, though. Um, let's put the Louisiana Tigers back here as the third line of defense for this area. And uh, as for early, I want him to just stay in the woods. All right, let's see. Come on, boys. All right, we might not even need to charge. It looks like he's going to run away anyway. I'm still going to charge and fire a few musket shots, or carbine shots, I should say. Rifle shots would be more appropriate. And I'm also going to charge into the Iron Brigade here. Looks like the enemy's doing their own charges here. Let's fire at Hoffman if we can. Come on, boys. And hit the Iron Brigade, Hampton and Mumford. Got to hold this location a little bit longer, boys. These guys might not be capable of a charge. Oh, there we go. About time. Slaughter them, boys, with your sabers. Now, the Black Hats, also known as the Iron Brigade right here, did an incredible job at the Battle of Antietam. Very brave guys, but I don't know how they're going to stand up against Confederate sabers. I think they're going to be able to, we're going to be able to beat them back. Look at that huge chunk of Union uh, Federal troops. Let's get Warren over here. And the important part is they don't get to the church. Brigadier General William Stark is wounded. That is not something I wanted to happen. Although you often can't see these things occur, or until they happen. So far, holding up at the fences here, though, is doing us an okay job. I really want to focus on Hartsoft, though. Uh, basically, the guys closest to the woods are the ones I want to focus on. Stonewall Brigade, only 106 men. Let's see if Jubilee Early can come here and save the day. My favorite general. Why are you blocked, Jubal? We don't want Stonewall to get hurt, that's for sure. Charge, Jubal, charge. Looks like he's decided opening fire is a better idea, and you can see there the volley of Jubal early working beautifully. Regular Springfield M1855 um, rifle a musket, but it still works. And the Stonewall Brigade is in trouble, man. Fire again, come on. I don't even see how the enemy's still around. They finally routed. Stonewall is down to 71, and it looks like um, the leader of the Stonewall Brigade, it's not Stonewall Jackson, he's dead already, um, didn't actually get wounded. Stonewall Jackson's been dead for a while. All right, let's get early here. And I'm going to try to get some flanking shots on hard stuff. Same with Stonewall Brigade. Even though it's only 64 men, 64 more muskets that I could use against the enemy. And i got to stop saying muskets, because I've seen other people make that same mistake, and it annoys the hell out of me. These are rifles, but the appropriate term, I believe, is a rifle musket. Um, so, it's a rifle. You know, it's a cartridge that's already primed and ready. In other words, you don't have to put in the gunpowder, um, the, the cartridge, etc. separately. You just put the cartridge in, the gunpowder is all in the cartridge, so is the round, uh, which allows you to fire a lot faster. And let me get those guys back up. Douglas, get back up on that damn cornfield. Because you were getting some good shots, and now you're you're lollygagging again, son. 
You also got to watch these artillery, these uh, artillery, these uh, cavalry regiments, and at the same time the enemy artillery, which I don't think is very useful right now. So we might ignore it. I just want to get one volley on them. You never know. You never know. It's better to lower their numbers. There we go. A few casualties for you guys to deal with, and we will get into the woods back here, flanking the enemy, of course. Nice shooting, Stonewall Brigade, and Early has gone on a charge we didn't even order him to, but brutal Jubilee Early. Again, just one of the best uh, fighters in this battle. He's going to charge, guys, and try to take down as many of the enemies as he can. I'm going to try to get the general up there, but yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get a morale in time. Nonetheless, that was a an interesting attempt. Maybe not a very smart one. Let's fire here at the Iron Brigade. I guess that's W stands for West? I'm not sure. Getting awfully close to our main generals. We need some more of that artillery fire, boys. Now let's get up close on the Iron Brigade. Nice. And now we've got them trapped um, in a sort of vice grip. You can just fire from both sides. All three sides would be perfect, but I don't know if Early is going to be ready by then. There we go. Early's getting some shots off. He's still not entirely with us, but give it time. Give it time. There we go. Iron Brigade is back. Beautiful. Let's move here and help Walker. Using Pen. we're going to fire at McGilton. And you can see all of the dead federal units here. There's not as many of our men down. Um, this field has been hell for the Union. Hood's division is here. We should use him to secure Dunker Church. We got the much-needed reinforcements. And I was I was about to say it's about time um, because you can see now they're getting into close combat with our men. This is when things start to get pretty serious. Let's move early up and let's get these boys to the church. There we go, McGilton is getting smashed. I actually kind of want to move that artillery up, but I think it's best to keep it at the most important location. And poor Douglas, we haven't done anything with him. Let's get him in these woods over here. Okay, where's our cavalry? Come on, boys. So I haven't been watching them as much, but you can see a lot of Union dead here, and that's primarily due to our artillery. So I have to say firing from the top of the hill was pretty successful. Okay, we have no ammo. We need to get an ammo wagon here. I don't think we have one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, you need to get the hell up to the top of the hill there, son. Early, focus on Seymour. Even though now he's got the woods cover, which makes our defense a lot more difficult. And I'm going to try to get Douglas here for a flank attack on Christian and McGilton. Thank goodness we kept the Louisiana Tigers back here on the third line of defense, or else I think the enemy would have probably already broken through. They got a lot of skirmishers here as well. Pretty damn frustrating. Go ahead and hit those skirmishers, too. Good shooting, boys. Keep it up. All right, fire at Magleton. They haven't learned their lesson yet. There we go. Finally, they're routed, and look at all those Federals. That's what I'm talking about, boys and girls. And now we're going to bring the Texas Brigade up here to this wooded area. And we're going to do the same with Law's Brigade. Funny enough, um, half of my family is named Law. I wouldn't be surprised if we are related to this guy. I wonder if he's from Kentucky or Ohio, uh, which is an area that a lot of my family lives in. That would be hilarious. So there we go, guys. We're actually getting some pretty good, a pretty good range of fire over here at these units. Um, I want to go ahead and focus on Anderson there. But if we all keep firing here, all three of these units, Penn, Walker, and Douglas, I really think we could break this guy. Okay, early. Come on, start firing, son. You can't just wait. You gotta start firing. And I wonder if he's getting the defensive bonus. He is 46%. So yeah, he's getting like a half cover bonus. And with the Texas Brigade, I'm gonna fire at Hoffman. I want to break Hoffman, and I think we can do it here with early and the Texas Brigade pretty quickly. Volley. It's gonna be a mass volley. Boom! Look at that. Hoffman's numbers dropped considerably, but he still refuses to run. My goodness, what a brave man. A brave soul, I say. Keep it up, boys. All right, Federals attack the sunken road. So the Federals send another attacking wave. We are greatly outnumbered. 
Uh, Dunker Church must be held or else our left flank will certainly collapse. In the sunken road position that can secure our right flank, we must defend it. Fair enough. Uh, be careful to guard this bridge because the enemy may attempt to cross it. It is advised to deploy some artillery to target this riverbank. All right, well, we have a few tips, and hopefully we get some more reinforcements. More forces are coming to our A general. Beautiful. But now, of course, we have to hold this area, too. So the first thing I'm going to do is get Peterson here to aim down the hill. And that kind of makes sense. That's a pretty good position for artillery anyway, aiming down the hill here. Keep, keep firing, boys. Come on. Okay, McGlaw's division reinforces us. Beautiful. We need as many men as we can get. Barksdale's on the way. Very useful uh, soldier. And we will divert troops as needed. So if we need to send some troops over there uh, to the sunken road, we'll do what we have to do. You can start to see, though, why this battle, despite being a Union victory, was such a catastrophe um, casualty-wise for the Union. Uh, having to cross this massive field has cost them so many men. And I can actually see some gray coats there if you guys look close. Our men have also lost a, a lot of men along this first um, fence. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Right now I'm going to target Patrick with everybody I've got. And I think we can get him to fall back. And that would make this area somewhat well defended. See dead Federals everywhere. Walker's division's available. Thank you, Walker. And with Walker, I'm actually going to send him over here to the sunken road. We don't know what we're going to face at the sunken road. And I can only imagine it's going to be pretty nasty. Because the enemy uh, are desperate to get a victory here against us at Antietam. Alright, let's get pin up. No, no ammo. Oh shit. Oh boy. Alright, well, we got ammo here with our supply wagon. We've got to get our supply wagon over here now. Um, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take to move, but that's not going to be easy. Nonetheless, we do have our cavalry back here. Maybe we could start harassing some of the incoming units, like Tisdale. Come on, boys. Follow the Confederacy, boys. Come on, now. Could have also tried to steal their supply wagon, but we'll wait a little bit for that. And it looks like, are our guys doing an actual charge this time? Finally, no. They're just running up with the carbines. No, wait, they are doing a charge. Mumford's going to try. Tisdale got a really good shot, though. Come on, boys. Get in there. Get in that action now. Nice! Up close and personal carbine fire. That's going to cause some casualties. We need that ammo wagon soon. Some of the enemy forces are regrouping. And it looks like they forced Douglas out. Let's get him back into the woods. But m massive shortages of ammo over here uh, along the fence. So we definitely want to do something about that. And namely, I want to go ahead and fire at the skirmisher units. But as well as Gourmand, who's getting awfully close. I just now noticed. Still want to stay put, though. And even with that ammo wagon, I'm not sure it's going to be enough to supply every single unit. Enemy is also getting close to that ammo wagon. Really close to that ammo wagon. Charge with Texas. Charge with Texas Brigade. We can't let them take that ammo wagon. It's going to be a hell of a nasty bayonet fight, but... If we can get some ammo to that right flank, that's going to be extremely important. Looks like Mumford's been wounded. That arm may have to come off. Sorry, Mumford. In the meantime, get this guy over here. All right, we're going to turn Jubilee early this way, even though he's not in the best uh, cover possible. Let's get Bartsdale up here as well. Should also get Froble over here. That's a massive Union attack. There's a lot of Federals coming that way, and I'm not sure if we can hold them off necessarily. 
we might want to go ahead and abandon this position and get into the woods. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Do the same with Penn. We'll actually fall back, officially fall back. And we'll do the same. And actually, with the Tigers, I'll keep them here on the fence for a bit. Douglas, obviously, is stuck for now. But what we really need to do is get the artillery over here and get that damn supply wagon in range of our men. I think that's pretty That's pretty much good enough. Wait a minute. Fire, fire pen. Fire walker. Stop Goodrich. All right, supplies. Stop there. We can supply small arms. We can supply small arms. Well, interesting. Or we can supply cannon shots. So we can decide. I didn't realize that, and I've played this game for a long time that we can actually decide who gets supplied. The supplies are running out quickly, guys. And as you can see, we're being forced back here. It's an interesting situation for our army. I'm not moving these units from here, though. If we have to fall back and fight at the sunken road, that's exactly what we're going to do, and we're going to have enough men to do it. As for these guys, we will move them forward. Sanders, Sems, and Kershaw up to the sunken road in nice formation, and we'll get this artillery moving as well. Might be time to get the Tigers out of here, guys. They served their purpose long enough. They've done a great job, but now we need them to move out. And actually, I want our artillery to target Gorman there. Fight on, boys. Let's get Jackson back. He's definitely in harm's way. Same with Stewart. I kind of want Stewart to provide just a little more guidance to these guys. And I'm going to try to do it with another charge by law. If we can at least wipe out these weaker brigades, maybe we can uh, give the enemy an example of our resistance, of our ability to resist as well. Fire away, son. Come on, Frodo. You should be able to get some canister shot from here, son. Oh, yeah, that's some canister shot. Serious canister shot against the Union Army. They're going to advance with Caldwell now. And they're basically ignoring the sunken road. Which, hey, that's fine by me. Come on now. Canister shot. Fire. What are you waiting for, boys? Fire. There we go. Oh, nice. Caldwell's men taking a serious hit. Let's get Sanders up here with the artillery as well. And make sure Kershaw's also firing at the Philadelphia Brigade here. Pretty huge brigade. A lot of men there. Early fire at the Irish Brigade. Get a flanking shot. Although Crawford's coming straight at you. Get a shot off at least, man. Come on now. There we go, nice. Don't let me down, Early. So Early's now in close combat. His men are quite good at close combat, but I'm not sure that's going to save them in this situation. Not to mention, we're pretty much out of supplies. All right, guys. We're going to stop it here, and we will be back in the next part uh, to finish up the series. I hope you guys will stop by and check it out. And make sure to hit that like button and comment down below, as well as share, share, share if you want to see some more here. Um, in Ultimate General Civil War. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Have a great day.